Hello, hello, Ronald. Hello, Edwin. How are you? Hello, teacher. How are you? Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Very good. Ready, very good. Ready for action. How was your day? My day is very, very tired. So a lot of work. Uh, job, no. A lot of work. A lot of work, exactly. Okay. okay. Uh, how many hours of work do you do? Sorry? Uh, how many hours a day uh, do you work? I don't understand. Hey, ¿Cuántas horas al día trabajas? Yes. Uh, 11. 11. 11. Oh, wow. That's many hours all day. Yes. Is is it uh, 6 a.m. of 6 p.m. Okay, okay. It's heavy, very heavy. But it's very tired. But you are a young man. You can do it. Yes. Hello. Edwin, good evening. How are you? Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good, good evening. Fine. How was your day today? Uh, that is uh, a little heavy. With... Really? Why? Yes. Many, Many work to do. Ah, uh, a lot of work. A lot of work to do. At what time do you go to work? So I go to work um, at 6 a.m. 10 in the morning. In the morning, right. Ah, okay, okay. And uh, what do you do? at work so i am a customer service and i work with every customer and respond every day with that mm -hmm. day. Ah. okay okay do you like customer service Yes, I like uh, because I work as customer service, but I practice everything I learned in the university about Bachelor of Business Administration. Oh, okay, okay. That's cool, that's cool. Awesome, hey, Elise. Welcome. How are you? Uh, good night. Good evening. Good night. Good Excuse evening. Me. Good evening. How are you? Uh, all right. How was your day? Uh, my my day was uh, a little complicated because uh, there are many 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 uh, many seen about my my work mm -hmm. <laughs> but uh but now i feel great oh, okay okay that's good that's good okay. all right welcome everybody welcome herson welcome ada marilu welcome maritza welcome maybell welcome edwin Mel welcome ronald Welcome, Josman. Welcome, Francisco. Welcome, Osmin. Welcome, Carlos. Okay, guys, I would like for us to talk about uh, what do you remember about 
yesterday's class. What did we talk about? What did we discuss? What grammar or listening did we practice? Who can tell me? Uh, we do activities for the lecture too. Very good. We did the activities from the section two. So in section two, we were practicing this over here. We were looking at, uh, we finished this activity over here, which was I start work at, and we were practicing the vocabulary in this section. So for today's class, I would like for us to look at the next one, which is time expressions. Listen, please. By the end of this lesson, participants will be able to identify and use time expressions, such as prepositions and adverbs of time. Time expressions. I get up at 7 in the morning on weekdays. I go to bed around 10 in the evening on weeknights. I leave work early in the afternoon on weekends. I get home late at night on Fridays. I stay up until midnight on Saturdays. I wake up before noon on Sundays. I wake up after noon on Sundays. Expressing clock time. Seven, seven, seven o'clock. Seven a.m. equals seven in the morning. Seven p.m. equals seven in the evening. Okay, so now let's talk about at, in, and on. At. This preposition of time is used to discuss a specific time, including exceptions such as night. Examples, we have classes at 8 p.m. We have classes at 8 at night. In. This preposition of time is used to discuss general times of day except night, months, and years. Examples, we have classes in the morning. My graduation is in June. I went to Mexico in 1989. On. This preposition of time is used to discuss certain days of the week or portions of days of the week, a specific dates. Examples, we will meet on Friday. I rest on weekends. Christmas is on December 25th. Okay. Now, for this section, guys, what you're going to do is you are going to give me some examples uh, talking about your daily routine. For example, you can say, I wake up at five in the morning. All right? I go to lunch at 12 in the afternoon. I study English at 8 in the evening. So you're going to give me examples like these. And you're going to write the examples over here in the discussion forum. Hold on, trying to change it back. Give me a second. Okay. So you're going to come over here and you're going to go to add a post. And you're going to put daily activities. And here you are going to write the examples and write submit. 
So the phrases that I want you to use about at in are going to be from this activity. Using, for example, at, at night, in the morning, on weekends, on Friday. Basically, what I want you to do is give me at least five examples expressing the time expressions. Any questions? Do you have any questions? Do you understand the activity? Yes, sir. Yes. Okay, Osmin, can you explain what is the activity? Repeat. Um, explain to the class the instructions. Uh, en español, vamos a hacer ejemplos en inglés de lo que acabamos de ver. Correcto, correcto. Usando eh, expresiones del tiempo. Yes, sir. Thank you. Okay. You are going to work in pairs. Uh, I habilitated the share screen. Habilité para que pueda compartir su pantalla. Okay, let's go. Let's go, Maritza. Let's go, Ronald. Let's go, Kenya. ¿Cómo? De at in on. Ejemplo. Uh -huh. Eso ya lo hizo usted. Pueden compartir la pantalla. Yo no puedo ahorita. Estoy desde el teléfono. Solo indíqueme qué parte es para compartirla, por La 2.8. De, de la sesión 2.
Luego... ¿Cuántos ejemplos dijo? Podríamos, podríamos poner, por ejemplo, <risa> We Celebrate eh, Por lo Day, menos cinco ejemplos. Ok, teacher, gracias. Yes. Ok, no se con otro. Ajá. La del 15. Eh, we celebrate eh, Independence Day on September 15. No sé si estoy listo. Ok. We celebrate, dijo. We celebrate uh, Independence Day. Day. On September 15. Okay. Mm -hmm. Uh, we are to dance. No, y vamos a bailar con nuestros amigos el fin de semana. Es como I am to dance with my friends in the weekend. Uh, we will dance on the weekend, sería. Uh, we will oh, yo, dance. I, Ajá, nosotros igual. bailaremos en el fin de semana. Ajá, iremos a bailar el fin de semana. O, o también puede ser I will, I, I will, ajá, I will dance. Ah, I will I dance. Will, I will Yo iré dance. a bailar el fin de semana. Ajá. I will dance with my friends. Ajá, I will dance with my friends. With my friends. With, with my friends on weekend. On weekend. On weekend. Ajá. Uh -huh. eh, no sé qué por ejemplo podríamos dar. Eh. La que está ahí, we have class. We have class uh, of English at 8 p.m. or at, at 8 night. Night. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. at night. ¿Cuántas dan? Ya con eso serían las cinco. Oh, ok. No sé si van a agregar alguna otra. No, creo que está. Yo ya lo tengo claro. En el O me confundía. Pero ahí sí ya está claro. Okay. Is everybody finished? Yes, teacher. All right, let's go.
All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Let me have Alma Castro. Let me hear your examples, please. Okay, teacher. Um, permítame, permítame, que los estoy viendo aquí. Que estaba en el celular, pero ya estoy abriendo la computadora. Ah, it's okay. Eh, Ada Marilu, let me hear your example. Eh, okay. I will dance with my friends on the weekend. On weekend. Excellent. Me too. Leame los cinco ejemplos. Cinco ejemplos. ¿O oh, cuántos solamente. hizo? Eh, sí, cinco, solamente que no tengo exactos a la mano los que trabajamos. Ah, oh, ok, ok. Eh, bueno, I wake up um, at six o'clock. Mm -hmm. eh, el otro que le dije luego. Ahí puede decir, I wake up at six o'clock in the morning. El objetivo de esta actividad, guys, es usar las frases in the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening. No importa si se repiten en la misma oración. No, no. Porque si dice, I wake up at six o'clock in the morning. I go to work at 8 a.m. in the morning. It's okay. Ok, eh, otro ejemplo, my birthday is on November 28, mm -hmm. 28. Ooh, next month, birthday girl, party over here, party <laughs> over here, vamos a cortar un pastel. Eh, I love eh, drink coffee in the morning, every day. Okay, okay, very good. Ahí está in the morning. Y está every day. Good job, good job. Creo que solo eso escuché. Okay, okay. Thank you, Ada. Eh, Alma, ¿ya está lista? Hola, Alma, ¿me escucha? Hola, teacher. Este, no me, no me de abrir esto, pero estuve con Bridget y lo hicimos con ella y lo hicimos también con Ronald. Entonces, no sé si uno de ellos me ayuda, por favor. Ah, ok. Ronald o Bridget, ¿puede compartir la pantalla para que Alma lea las oraciones, por favor? Eh, sí, con gusto. Gracias, Bridget. Listo, ya están ahí. Ah, está. <ríe> Esas trabajamos, este sería, I wake, I wake up every morning at 7 a.m. Okay. She eat breakfast at Se, 8. 7 a.m. or 6 a.m.? 6 a.m., perdón, 6 a.m. Sorry. Uh -huh. She eat breakfast at 8 a.m. Okay, esa está buena, solo que allí el eat lleva una S. She eats breakfast eats. Ah, ah, porque es tercera eight. persona, es cierto. Y ahí tiene que ponerle in the morning. Uh, 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 she eats breakfast at 8 a.m. in the morning, sería. Eh, si dice in the morning, no va a decir a.m., solo va a decir 8 uh, okay. in the morning. Ok, ok, thank you. My birthday is in November. Uh, she's gonna travel on October uh, 22. I said, yeah, 22nd. 22nd. Uh, 22nd. 22nd. Mm -hmm. uh, I drink coffee in the morning, and Independence Day is on the September uh, 15. Mm -hmm. 
Very good. Okay, okay, excellent. Okay, guys, I know that everybody... Thank you, compañera. Thank you. I know that everybody wants to participate, but we need to move forward because we need to finish the sections in section two. So at this moment, what I would like for us to do is we're going to go to the next activity, which is going to be the knowledge check instructions. We're going to look at this section over here, 2.9 knowledge check. Time expressions, instructions. Complete these sentences with time expressions. Instrucciones. Complete estas oraciones con expresiones de tiempo. You will have five minutes to complete the activity with a partner. We're going to change partners. You're going to work with somebody different. And then we are going to check together. Let's go. No, no la puedo compartir porque la tengo en la laptop y me he conectado al teléfono. Ok, voy. Bueno, pues... Me avisan si la pueden ver. Ah, sí. Sí. Ok. Ve, honestamente ya la había respondido. Ya la, ya la hicieron los, ya la hicieron los tres. Sí, sí ya. ya lo hicimos, teacher. Ah, ok. Ah, pues solo compartan las oraciones y de ahí lo chequeamos. Ok. Ah, ok. Mm -hmm. eh, en la primera, como es como una hora exacta, es el app. Hay que dar a six. Luego, en la segunda, hay que ir a ver el ley. At night. At night. At night. Uh -huh. Ahí está el word at 11:30 a.m. Uy, eso. Luego, I have lunch. Hay como, ya se utiliza el app en el 2 p.m. y habla de la tarde y en the afternoon. Exacto. Luego, I stay up at eh, 1 a.m. on weekends. Yo ahí sí me confundo porque siempre digo on the weekends, pero no se ocupa el de. Solo eh, con... Long, uh -huh, la preposición. I uh -huh. wake up late on Sunday. I watch TV in the evening. In the evening. Luego, I do my homework. Eh, ahí sí me confundí porque no es el long. Perdón, el in. Por alrededor la traducción. Around, uh -huh, around. Es como cuando uno dice como a las cuatro. Around uh -huh. four o'clock. Uh, okay. Ahí es como más ver el contexto de la oración. Ajá, uh -huh. por ejemplo, I do my homework around four in the afternoon. Right? No es un tiempo como fijo, sino que es como un tanteado, como te estás tanteando, like more or less. Ok, thank you, teacher. Mm. Eh, ahí sí está bien. I work on weekdays. Y I get home early in the morning. Por in the morning. Ajá, habla de un tiempo, mañana, tarde y todo. Y ahí estamos. Ok.
Okay, let's have number one. Let me have a volunteer for number one. Hi, teacher. Uh, I that get, is uh, I, Francisco. Yes, I okay. get up at six. I get up at, at six. Six, very good, very good. Uh, number two, Billy Beth. Um, I go to bed late at night. I go to bed late at night. Excellent. Number three, Eulise. Hi. I start work at 11. 11.30 a.m. I start work at, at 11.30 a.m. Very good. Number four, Ana Martinez. Okay, Maritza, number four. Hola, hola. Hi. Uh, long. Okay, eh, Maritza, I, eh, uh, vamos a darle a usted las cinco, ya le quito el silence, Ana. Ana, okay. estaba en silencio, no le escuchamos. Ok, como que se le trabó la compu a Ana. Ok, Maritza, proceda con la cuatro. I have lunch at 2 p.m. in the afternoon. In the afternoon, very good. At 2 p.m. in the afternoon is correct. Thank you, Maritza. Ok, Ana, number hola, five. Teacher. Hola, teacher. Hello. Hello. Hola, hola, ahora sí la escuchamos clarito. Las cinco, por favor. I stay up at 1 a.m. Sería la, la on weekends. Weekends day. On weekends. Hmm, más no sabe que se le va a arrugar si se pela hasta la una. <laughs> Es mejor dormirse temprano. <laughs> Thank you, Ana. Number six, Carlos Dominguez. I... I wake up late on Sundays. Very good. I wake up late on Sundays. Number seven, please, Edwin Antonio. Yeah. Uh... I do my homework. Uh, no, 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 no. Estamos haciendo la siete. Number seven. I'm so sorry. Sorry. Uh, I went to be in the evening. Very good. I watch TV in the evening. Thank you. Ada Marilu, number eight. I do my homework around four in the afternoon. Excellent. Este around es como cuando uno dice como a las cuatro, como a las cinco. Es como que estás haciendo un estimate. No exacto, como un estimate. Más o menos. Around. 
Thank you. Ada. Postman. Number nine. I work on weekday. I work on weekdays is correct. I work on weekdays. Thank you. Number 10, Ronald. Okay, Ronald, no está. Eh, sorry, sorry, sorry. I, 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 I am here. Ah, okay, okay. Go ahead. What's the number? Number 10. Num number 10 is, I get home early in the morning from my night shift. I get home early in the morning from my night shift. Very good. Okay. Awesome. All of them are correct. Very good, guys. At this moment, does anybody have any questions related to this activity? Any questions related to this information? Related to the vocabulary? Related to the pronunciation? Any questions? Teacher. Hey, Carlos. Teacher, how do you say in, in, in Spanish, chief? How do you say in Spanish? Uh, chief. Mm -hmm. See, uh, the number team? I think it's turno. Ah, shift. Shift. Yeah. Ah, ha, ha. Por ejemplo, usted dice morning chef. Es el, la jornada o el turno de la mañana. Afternoon chef. El turno o, el turno o la jornada de la tarde. Y night chef. Es el turno o la jornada de la noche. Del trabajo. Okay, teacher. Thank you. Yes, of course, Carlos. Gracias por la pregunta. Any more questions, guys? Another question? Nobody? One question. Somebody asked me a question. Anybody? Okay. Now, what I would like for us to do is continue and finish. We're going to finish the platform talking about daily schedules, or diarios, diarios, listening skills. You are going to listen to the audio. You're going to listen to the audio in pairs. Listen to Rodney, Tina, and then and Ellen you're going to come over here daily schedules. and you're going to Complete answer the, the correct what do you do, information. Rodney? I'm a chef. Hey, that's great. So what are your work hours like? They're okay. I work in the afternoons chef. and evenings. I get up around 9 a.m. And I work from 11 a.m. until 10 p.m. Around. I get home fairly late, about 11 p.m. Nine. And I'm usually in bed by one in the morning. Any questions? And what do you do, Tina? Well, I'm an office man. Any questions? No, teacher. All right. You're going to have five minutes, and then we're going to check and listen together. Are you ready?
1. Ah. Espérame. Solo, solo nosotros. Va. Entonces, en la primera le dice, eh, Ronnie está preguntando qué es él. La va leyendo usted y una la... la... ¿Cómo y una la voy leyendo yo. Hola, hola. Que le digo de que si busca, eh, una ah, la, sí. la lee usted y una la leo yo para alternarnos. Como ya está la respuesta. Ajá, aquí, vaya, está bien. Ajá. Que lo que completáramos eso sí. y que lo practicáramos. Uh -huh. Ah, pues si quiere, eh, la empiezo yo. Eh, sí. One, Rodney, is a chef. Entonces sería la 2. Y get up. Y tú get up at 9 a.m. La 3. Sí. He gets home at 11 p.m. 4. He goes to bed at 1 a.m. 5. Tina is. And office manager. Six, she gets up eight, seven a.m. Okay. Yeah. Seven, she gets home at six p.m. Eight, she goes to bed at midnight. Nine. Helen is a flight. Sí, Nine es como medianoche, ¿verdad? Sí, sí, medianoche. Uh -huh. uh, 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 Helen is a flight at Then she gets up before 5 a.m. 11. She gets home at 9 p.m. Where she goes to bed at 10 p.m. p.m. Y de ahí, ah, pues entonces ahora si quiere, usted empieza primero. Yo sigo. Vaya. Juan Rodney is a chef. Two. He gets up at 9 a.m. Sí. He gets home at 11 p.m. Four. He goes to bed at 1 a.m. Five. Tina is an office. All right, Ronald, let's. Let me, I want you to, to do number one. Leame la primera. Number one? Yes. Uh, Ronnie, Rodney is a chef. Excellent. Number two, Postman. Okay. Get up at, at night. I'm sorry. He got he gets at, at night. He gets up at 9 a.m. Very good. 9 a.m. Uh, number three, Maritza. He he gets home at eleven. He gets home at eleven. Eleven p.m. Mm -hmm. Eleven p.m. Uh -huh. Eleven p.m. Very good. Very good. Person number four. Eh, se, como se atreve a hablar, no puedo ver casi. Se me complica un poco. Ah, oh, okay. That's okay. Ajá. Uh -huh. That's okay. Eh, si quiere, le comparto la pantalla. Sí.
Go ahead. Eh, eh, sería la cuatro. He la goes four, to bed. Eh. Bueno, casi no escuché el audio porque con la compañía que estaba no lo he completa la actividad. Ah, ok, ok. Sí. Ajá. He, he, he is practice with me. Ah, well, Ronald. Ok, Ronald, la puede leer usted. Yes, teacher. Ok. He goes to bed at 1 a.m. He goes to bed at 1 a.m. is correct. Thank you. Ronald, number five. Number five. Cutting, Stephanie. Tina is an office manager. Tina is an office manager. Correct. Number six, Elise. Number six, Elise. She gets up at 7 a.m. She gets up at 7 a.m. Correct. Number seven, Ana Martinez. She gets home at 6 p.m. Excellent. Number eight, cutting Stephanie. She goes to bed at midnight. At midnight. Everybody listen midnight. and repeat, please. Everybody. Listen and repeat, please. Midnight. 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 Very good. Eso quiere decir medianoche. All right. The next one, Bri Beth. Um, I don't remember what, which. Uh, uh, number which nine. One? Number nine. Oh, okay. The nine is Ellen is a flight attendant. Ellen is a flight attendant. Good. Let me have Mabel. Number Mabel, the next one. Number. The next one is number 10. Sips number six p.m. Uh, read the sentence, please. Okay, she get off before six p.m. Very good. All uh, right, there the pronunciation for the third person singular is gets gets with an s at the end she gets up thank you the next one is alma veronica no finalicé teacher no oh. nos dio el tiempo por hacerlo oh, okay okay Despacito, ya, ya íbamos viendo Okay, okay, that's okay. Uh, Francisco. Yes, teacher. Uh, the next one, please. Uh, what number? Uh, number four. 11. 11. Uh, she gets home at 9 p.m. Very good. And the last one, 12. Ada. She goes to bed at 10 p.m. Thank you. All right, guys. Those are all the ones I see that somebody sent the answers to the chat. <laughs> Did you see that? Vieron eso? Rona La Maya. Gracias, Rona. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> 
That's okay. De eso se trata. Apoyarnos unos con los otros. So, thank you. Okay. We are finished with section number two. Good job, ladies and gentlemen. ¿Quiénes no han completado las actividades de la sección una y dos? Levante la mano. Levante la mano. A mí me faltó esta y la 2.9, pero ahorita ahora las finalizo. Ok, ok. Gerson, ¿por dónde va usted? Bueno, en mi caso, como yo estoy a través del celular, eh, después de la clase hago actividades. Eh, esa sí no la tengo toda completa. Ah, ok. Pero okay. voy a tratar de, de hacerla igual, si no puedo, le voy a hacer una próxima clase si me ayuda. Ok, ok. Very good, very good. Thank you. Eh, ¿Quién más? ¿Quién más? Ok, so todos los demás ya terminamos la 1 y la 2. That's good. Eh, Ronald, ¿usted cree que me puede apoyar o a, a, poniendo al día con Gerson? Please. Yes, teacher. No hay problema. Ok. Eh, Gerson, write Ronald on WhatsApp and uh, to help you update in the platform. Okay, guys. Now, yes. Now we're going to. Todavía nos quedan cinco minutos. We're going to look at 3.0 in this lesson. Participants will listen to a conversation about demonstratives while shopping. En esta clase, los participantes escucharán una conversación sobre pronombres demonstrativos mientras las personas van de compras. They are perfect for you. Están perfectos para ti. Listen, please. Hi, we're now in section three. What is your neighborhood like? Please pay attention and try to understand the audio as much as possible. Remember, you may access to this conversation as many times as needed. I recommend for you to take notes while you are listening. In this lesson, participants will listen to a conversation about demonstratives while shopping. Oh, look at those earrings, Maria. They're perfect for you. These red ones? I'm not sure. No, the yellow ones. Oh, these? Hmm, yellow isn't really a good color for me. Well, that necklace isn't bad. Which one? That blue one right there. How much is it? It's $42. That's expensive. Hey, let me get it for you. It's your birthday present. Happy birthday. <laughs> All right. It's the birthday present. Yeah, they're perfect. Everybody listen and repeat. Oh, look at those earrings, Maria. Oh, oh look, look at, at those earrings, earrings, Maria. Earrings, Maria. They're perfect for you. They are perfect for you. They are perfect for you. These red ones, I'm red not one. sure. These red ones? These red ones? I'm not sure. No, the yellow ones. No, no. the no. yellow no. ones. Oh, these? Oh, oh these? these? Mm, yellow isn't really a good color for me. Yellow isn't yeah, really a good, good color, 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 color for me. For me. Well, that necklace isn't bad. Well, that necklace is bad. Which one? Which one? Which one? The blue one right there. The, the, blue, the blue one, one right, there. right there. How much is it? How, How much, much, is much is it? it? It's $42. That's expensive. It's for $42. $42. That is expensive. 
Hey, let me get it for you. It's your birthday present. Happy birthday. Hey, let me get it for you. It's your birthday, birthday. birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. <laughs> All right. Okay. Let me have Ana Maria is Maria. Ana Martinez is Maria and Ronald is Steve. Okay. Oh, look at those earrings, Maria. They perfect for you. These red ones, I am not sure. No, the yellow ones. Oh, this? Mmm, yellow. It seems really a good color for me. Well, the nails is bad. Which one? The blue one right there. How much is it is? No, how much is, is it? it? Is it? Is it? Sorry, is it? It's four. $42, that's expensive. Hey, let me get it for you. It's your birthday present. Happy birthday. Woo! Good job. All right, excellent work, guys. Okay, guys, time is up. I gotta go. I have another class. So I will see you tomorrow. Good night. Goodbye. Bye. See you tomorrow. Bye. 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 Bye.